The next exercise in the neck and spine section is the bridge press. This is a progression from the first exercise, which was the supported bridge. And it's important here that you provide some cushion so that you're not placing your head against, directly against the floor. So just a basic stretching mat or a gymnastic mat will do. You're going to lie on your back as you did for the bridge. So the bridge, again, is to be in this position. Now from here, you're going to be pressing and holding the kettlebell into a press position. So what that's going to do is add some additional resistance to the bridge technique. So take the kettlebell in two hands and grab it by the handles, by the side of the handles. Now from here, you're going to lift up into a bridge, and then you're going to hold the kettlebell up. And this is something you'll just hold for time. So start with about 20 seconds, and then when you're finished, bring it down, drop your hips, and move the kettlebell to the side. Now it's very important when you're first introducing bridging exercises that you work very gradually. Do not do too many repetitions or too long, because it's going to take a little time for your, for your spinal muscles to adapt to the resistance. So that's a bridge press.